Gamers, what is going on? Today in Unicraft server, we are going to be building a shelter farm. Let's go. You may notice that behind me, I have a shelter. We moved that in last episode. And I am, I'm expecting, you know, to, to do something with it. I want to crack down and I want to get my, my knees, hands dirty. I want to build a shelter farm because I want shulker boxes. And so does a lot of the other people on the server. Yeah, I could turn a pretty penny with this. I can make a good profit. Anyways, let's get into it. What I want to do is I want to make sure that everyone knows not to place blocks in that area. And I've got some yellow and black concrete powder. And that should, like, just... So once I create the little area I want, because shulkers, they can teleport a 17 by 17 block, air, yes, yeah, square area, and there in the center of it. Oh. Oh, got my inventory. I'll give them one of these. <laughs> That's nice. Uh oh, good drown. Yeah, sometimes I'll just get visitors. I'm not very aware. Like they can just show up around me sometimes. I'm I'm not I'm not the wiser. I barely notice. But yeah, they just stop by. Shut off their, their fish named bucket. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm gonna hop right into clearing an area out here. Here we go! supporting retaining wall here for the, the, the shape. I've outlined the edge with this, you know, black and yellow hazard style. I left a little side. I might need to make a bigger one because there's absolutely no blocks beyond this point. The thing you may notice is that, although I am currently chatting well, but <laughs> is that shelters, they teleport 17 by 17 area. This is actually bigger than that. This is the the path blocks here are 21 by 21, and the outside is 23 by 23. So it just gives me a little bit more space so that just in case they could somehow teleport a little bit outside of their intended range, they, there's still more blocks that they have to teleport through. So it just leaves me enough space to build my shelter share farm right here, and hopefully this is enough so that. You know, I can build the shelter shelf farm and no shulkers will escape. And hopefully it's clear enough that this is something that people should not be building on, although no one does build because it is my base. But just in case anyone came by as a blocks, this would hopefully prevent them from building and interrupting the farm. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and build a farm. I am gonna follow the tutorial. I'm gonna follow one like base six and put out excuse me. And the one that they just posted like a couple days ago. So this is a pretty recent tutorial. Anyway, uh, let's, let's jump right into it. I've actually gone and grabbed one of the other shulkers that I brought to the overworld. And there's two here now. They're fully encased in glass. One of them will be for the shelter shelf farm, which is over there. And the other one is spare. In case, let's say, I happen to accidentally kill this one, or farm breaks, then we can replace it. But if all goes well, then that second shulker will be for how did we get here achievement, which I do eventually want to try and get at least once. So, we'll see. I'll try and AFK in the little AFK thing for maybe a couple of minutes, and we'll see if the farm actually works as intended. I'm actually still not quite certain where the shulker is. Oh, I should probably remove that one little bottom half slab, shouldn't I? Okay, I'll do that first, and then I'll do the, the shulker AFK. Alright gamers, guess what? Over here, we have shulker number two. Up here, we have shulker number one. Look, there it is. 
obviously it's not it's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be. Oh, I guess I should remove this for. Okay. Oh, yeah. Because I left some dirt blocks that hopefully would teleport out and go to the right spot. But I decided to just grab a third shelter and move that one in. And now it's right there. The thing is, it is standing on an invalid block. So right now it thinks it can be there, but it can't. So it should be able to go to the next valid block which should be inside the farm if i'm being real there should be one inside the farm that it can go to let's try and put it there maybe it should teleport to that you should see that go hey like come on you can teleport to that you know you can go to that block this one you literally can't be on there's a fever there Okay, there we go. Now it'll go to the next one. It should be inside the farm, hopefully. Come on, go inside the farm. We gotta punch it again. Oh, I think that went in. I think it went in. It's not where I think it should be, which is a little worrying. Okay, it's up there. Why did I fall through that? like solid block. Now what? Let's see. Are they both there? Oh, I see one. It keeps going down. So they, they keep getting in the boats and getting out. They're not dying. And they're not shooting the snow golems, which they should be shooting. I have no idea what's wrong with the farm, man. Like, this is so complicated. Like, the main design is on Billy Billy, so it's in Chinese. No hate, but I can't speak Chinese. So it's like, well, what am I supposed to do? So there's, there's three snow golems in there. It would be nice if I had free cam right now. You know what? I'm actually just going to go download free cam right now, just, just for this. Guess who went and installed free cam? That's right, I did. Let's see, can I not go through this? I'll have to change my settings, I guess. Anyway, yeah. And I move way too quick. I need to lower the sensitivity on this somehow. Yes, there's... Okay, come on. Yeah, uh... I'll, I'll come back to you about the settings here on this later. Gamers, I switched the settings. Now, I, yes, I can go through blocks and look inside my farm. So I think there's supposed to be a shelter here, firing at these snow golems. In fact, I think that these shelters are supposed to be, well, somewhere right here, I reckon, firing also at the, at the, the snow golems. These, this guy, he seems to be permanently here, which means something's probably wrong. Like, it looks like he gets into a boat, and he gets back out, and he goes right there. The other guy, he also gets out right there, gets in the boat, and then gets back out again. Like, look, he gets in the boat, gets out, he's right there. And that looks like the right spot for him to be, maybe. And I'm not quite sure how the wither boats are supposed to be doing anything. Um... Uh... Oh well, I guess I'll have to go back to the drawing board and try to figure this out. Because I've got... This is my two shelters in here. We refuse to cooperate for it. That one looks like it just fired something. The wrong way, though. It's like, are they supposed to hit each other? But I know that... I'm pretty sure that they're supposed to be... Shelter right here on this block and, and it would open up it would fire at these guys and then they'd shoot down and then the shelter shells should or the shelter bullets should down, hit this guy duplicate on my thing or like this shelter should look up and go hey look it's staring right at me so it should try and fire at me so getting a shelter here is the main priority so something i did was wrong that means i gotta do it again and who knows, if I can't figure it out, 
Might just have to completely remake the entire farm or build a different one. We'll see though. See what I can do. Alright, I think I might have figured out what the problem was. So first off, I know that the armor stand's not in there and it should be. And then I put that in there. And then also I think I'm supposed to have these, like this, so that the, the shulkers have somewhere to go. Oh, uh, where did they go? Oh, there is one. Now, I have no idea if they're both there. I think they are. And I think I just killed both my shulkers. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to make a breeder because I think I just killed them both because I didn't have a shulker duplicating here. Which sucks, but I guess that's why why we keep that spare one over there. <laughs> uh, I'm here in a creative testing world. You, you'll see my storage building here. I was playing around with it. And in my inventory, I've got some stuff because I am down to my last shulker. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try and build a little shulker beetle. I'm going to try and design one for myself and see, see if I understand this well, well enough so that I can just you know, create one. So first I want to learn the mechanics of the shulker. So as far as I'm aware, when the shulker is open and it gets hit by a projectile, that's that's when it has a chance to duplicate. I don't remember the chances. If there's one within eight blocks of it, every every one within, it lowers the chance by 25% of a duplication. Um, yeah, and then it can teleport in a 17 by 17 square with it at the center, which is eight blocks in every direction, which is the same amount they can sort of detect, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, I'm just going to try and build a breeder. So it's like, when it shoots a shulker, or shark or something, then it it uh it breeds, and then it gets that out of there. I think... Oh, I've seen something like this similar before, but I'm just playing around with it and seeing what'll work. So now let's get myself a lever, and let's see, can I power that trapdoor? Okay, I guess it's got to be a solid block up here. That should work. And then the unpower it. So now, snow golem will sh shoot it. Oh, I don't think I gave enough space here for this guy to shoot himself. Let's see, now he should have enough space to shoot at himself. Button this off. Let's see, what's happening? It's not opening up. Let's check what's what's the difficulty in the world. Oh, it's in peaceful. Okay, let's go to hard because that's a difficult play. Now he started shooting. Should shoot backwards. Hit himself. There we go, so he did hit himself. He shoots forward. It's pushed up, but then he shot backwards, he shot himself. Okay. Now what happens if he keeps running? He just teleported out. Then let's turn this off. So it is possible for him to die with this design. But let's see if I can create something that will work. Alright. The way that this farm should work is basically the shulker will create a duplicate. And then you'll notice that the, there is a um, tripwire over here. Minecarts don't trigger it, but when there's a shulker in it, I'll turn it on now. But when there's a shulker in it, it is big enough to trigger, and it should pull this block back. And then the pistons will all retract the block. Oh, I just said that. And the minecart will fall down onto that track where it'll go up here into this little storage chamber. So, once we see a duplication here, it should work. There's a duplication. Oh, next pass because it spawned on a weird block. Oh, yeah, see, then it falls down, goes along this route, and gets put up here. So now another one should be able to duplicate. Although there is a big slime here, which is not normally what would happen. Okay, slime's breaking my farm, doesn't count. It looks like I will have to have a way to refill these minecarts because they do disappear pretty quick. 
But as you can see, it looks like it does successfully... Like, as long as there's minecarts running along here... It does read that. Like, maybe if I made one of these systems individual for each of these, so that once it said... Once it detected that this hopper was activated, or this piston was activated, then it could dispense another hopper somewhere else. Or another minecart, sorry. Like, it could go like that, like once it finds out that one's been launched. And it looks like it works pretty good, this system. Like, we're getting, we're getting shelters. And like, so far it hasn't died yet. I'm pretty sure that's because every time it kills itself, it, um... Or every time it duplicates, the new shulker replaces the old one. So now this one's full health. See, this would be obviously a mistake because I didn't button it off properly. But yeah, it looks like I could do that. Might as well button off these sides too then. That's gonna happen. But yeah, it looks like this could be a good prototype. Like, I just need to revamp this a little bit so that it stores a bit better. And then relaunches a bit better. And then I think I have a, a working shulker breeder. Because look at that, I've already gotten a couple shulkers out of it. Now for a shulker farm, I don't think this is as good as the other ones, but just because I keep using all my shulkers and they keep dying, because I keep putting them in the wrong, or some, some, I do something wrong. So doing something like this should work a lot better. We'll work on this little input-output machine system, and then we'll see what I can do. And right as I say that, the shulker does die. Oh, which sucks. I guess you can just get unlucky and have it die sometimes. But I do have shulkers piled up. So I think what I can do is... Honestly, I'm not sure. I might look up a tutorial, but honestly, I'm kind of figuring this thing out. I developed a smarter system than Piston one. Because this one here, I was trying to get it to work where it's like, oh, if it takes one out, it places one back. But... It's hard to make something like that tileable, and also it wasn't working. This one, it's got the rail switching, so it's like, it just runs back and forth at that little intersection. But once this tripwire is triggered, it runs this redstone, powers this block, turns off that torch, and what that does is that switches it to go this way. So from there, it will go this way along this track. So, if I were to put down a minecart, put down a shelter, Put it in it should yes exactly it switched it did you see that so if i do this push this minecart it switches the intersection track just as it goes through and it goes this way so that's just i think that's a smarter way if i'm going to use the rails like this to try and use this far okay so you see all these designs like for example this one where it's like where it's you know you got their shell from there shooting itself duplicating and then having the minecarts on each individual track, pick it up, detect it, and go, yep, there's one in there, switch the track. Which honestly, I think is pretty cool. But I don't think I need this many individual tracks. I went to bed, and I came up with another idea that I think could be pretty interesting. So I'm going to give it a try, and see how it turns out. Here I'm doing a little, little concept testing. So I've got just a basic design here, currently closed off. But I've got a calibrated skulk sensor on page 14, which should be listening for any teleporting of any mobs or mobs spawning. So I open it up, and we'll see if it hears it when that shelter shoots itself and either creates a new one or teleports. Oh! Oh man, I figured it out. It's because I'm, I'm on peaceful again. I wonder it wasn't working. But now we got to watch this and see if it detects it. It heard it. It heard it. That's all I need to hear. All right. That's great news. So come take a look at this module over here. So what I've created here is, right now, I just wanted to prove a concept. But the way that this idea is, is basically I've just got this minecart, and it goes it goes all the way around. And then if there is a, a shelter, it'll come this way, and it'll go up this water column and into this sort of storage chamber. And then if I want to, like let's say I just want to 
fill in a shulker because that one died, I can just push this button, or lever I mean, and it will power one, move one powered rail over, one rail will come out, go back, and then it'll flash back. So I, I, every time I use that lever, it does it, so it's like a one tick sort of pulses, then it'll load one up, take the minecart, and re-put it back in the system. And now I've got it so that when a shulker comes through here, it will fire fire an arrow at this target block and then launch another minecart. So if I want to show that off, I can just activate it. There is a chance that the, it might miss, but it, it'll it probably won't. <laughs> and it's just it's just kind of fun. But anyway, I think what I'm gonna do here is make it so that this powers um because I want it to switch it on. And then for a set amount of time, like the amount of time it takes for one rail to go from, start from here and go collect that up. Because let's say it detects a teleport and one spawns in, in the area. Then I want it to shut down because the chances for this to spawn will become greatly decreased. And I want it to be more consistent than efficient. So for this, I want it to be so that once it detects that teleport, it goes, okay, shut it down until the length of one full time it takes for a, a minecart to pass through. Or, actually, because I have a detection system here, what I can do is shut it down until it detects this, the shulker come through here. Then it can turn back on. I think that would actually be kind of a good, good idea, although I can't quite figure out how to do that. But I'll get back to you guys on that, I'll figure it out, and we'll see if I come up with something nice. I'll do it, otherwise I'll just, uh, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Alright, I think I've got a work version here. So what happens is, the shulker, he will shoot, attempt to shoot the snow golem, and will duplicate by hitting himself. I think they have five attempts, and then on the sixth one they, okay. Although, that was sort of alright, because what happened there was, so, now you'll notice the system's off, because that, that trapdoor is closed. And this, I've made a little mess of, <laughs> of redstone here, but basically, the shulker gets pushed up, he gets moved through there, and you'll notice there's one in here, and if I flip that lever, oh, there's two in there. And they both went to the wrong spot. Oh, anyway, and this stuff wasn't picked up. Oh, that's great. Anyway, I can launch minecart cycle and say, oh, there's two, go pick those up. And now that this guy's here again, I can launch him, and he should this time. Nope. He's supposed to activate a rail right onto that spot. But it looks like he doesn't. But it does look like at least the farm will be off while while it's not running. And then I can keep trying, and keep trying to push them back in there. I thought for sure that that activator rail would pop it out, like, right there, right next to it. Actually, it might be better if I move this up. I'll try that. Here, the system, as cool as it looks, and as fun of an idea as it was, to have calibrated skulk sensors detect one one teleports, and make sure that it's picked up before... Honestly, it doesn't work very well. They consistently keep all dying, even though they're literally not even hitting any of each other or themselves when there's any around. So, I don't know what's up with it, but I guess I'm going to have to look up a tutorial or something and figure this out, or just build a different shulker farm. Because this uh, this this cool little construction idea, it does uh, it does not seem to work like at all. I think I'm just gonna build a quick little something breeder here. Destroy the block I'm standing on. There we go. So now I can splash potion them whenever I want. Open these up and turn it on. Now we should. In theory, start breeding, and I just need one duplicate. Try one more time. Please just duplicate. Still not quite sure why he hasn't duplicated yet. He's definitely hit himself like multiple times. He should have duplicated, like at least once. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try again. Let's uh let's hope that this one works this time. Come on, you can do it. Just hit yourself with a shulker bullet and duplicate. Duplicate. Don't teleport. Duplicate. Please. Please. That one 
Alright, well, let's feel lucky on that one. Come on, please! Duplicate! Let's go. That sounds like... That sounds like... Yes! Yes, I got one! I got one! Oh my gosh. Now let's get moving that guy in. Hopefully it works this time. Okay, so... The shocker is supposed to be right here. You can tell because the XK spot is right here. Staring directly right there. The shulker is supposed to be right here on this block. Instead, it is up here. In the killing chamber. I... Sh I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Because right now, just over there, I've been breeding shulkers. And trying to get... Like, every time I'll breed one, heal up that guy because I can't have it fail. And I'll take that one and I'll try and put it into the farm. And then it doesn't go into the farm. Isn't that great? Okay, I think I think it's working. I think it's working. I think I just I just need to destroy the the rail I used to get it in here. One block, I need to break that one block. There we go. Now it should it should, in theory, be working. Now let's see if I can land here. Yeah. And I just need to hop up here. So it's looking free camp. So it does look like. Yeah, yeah, okay, so these shulkers also get mad. And they do shoot and kill each other. So I could put the wither roses in here now. Because they're supposed to be on this three. Looks like they can connect those ones, but if I put the wither roses in. Let's see. When they get hit, do they come up here at all? No, not by the looks of it. But yep. There's some more. And they're shooting this one. So I'm actually getting shulker shells now. So they're aggroing on these pumpkins. This guy opens up and goes to shoot them. These guys are also aggroing on them because this guy's mad. So they're, they're like frenzying. And their bullets hit this guy, which supercharges it. And this guy also hits himself. And oh, looks like I got another one there. Yeah, it's working. That's actually awesome. Now I could try to fly up and put the wither skulls in, or wither, wither, um, wither roses, but I honestly don't think that's a good idea right now, I'd just let it run for a bit. And then in the off chance that these guys all die, and then this one fails to duplicate, and you can see there's a shell there, so once it dies, those shells should drop, once this guy teleports, I think. Yeah, and then, they, then the shulker shells fall through, more, more come through though, and they should be picked up in these hoppers. Yes, yes. I'm actually gonna go check that right now. Yeah, we're getting some shulker shells. They're coming in. So I'm gonna try and AFK for a bit and see, hopefully, that this keeps running. If it happens to break, I did keep over there just a separate like little shulker breeder. I did just, it's just something that I did make in Creative World, but also like shulk breeding's been out for like a year, so someone's probably made that exact design already. But yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna run it for a bit and see, hopefully, that it works. There we go, I think that fixed it. Let's just take a look. Yep, now they, now they spawn up there into the Wither Roses. Should be going a little bit faster now. Although, this guy did disappear. I feel like there should be something that restocks this guy. Instead of just having them despawn. So I think I built a bad farm. Because I didn't really look up the mechanics first before I built this one. And yeah, so there is no restocking mechanic on this farm. Which means that if it happens to take like the 3% chance that it won't duplicate. Then yeah, these guys just all die. So looks like I'm, gonna, I'm actually just going to build another farm. Because this one has given me too many problems. And... I thought, oh, I'm doing great. Finally got it to work. It's like, nope. I'm not even sure what that top part's for. Never seen a shelter go up there. I got... <laughs> I got like 17 shelter shells after spending literal, like, hours and days working on this thing. And it, uh... It, start, it just breaks way too easy. So I need one that needs that refill mechanic. And then I'll, I'll try and build just a new one. Which sucks, because I did... Oh, yeah, these guys, they all just died. So, time for me to build a new shulker farm. Yay! 
onwards, you may see, oh look, the shulker farm. It is literally completed. It's done, right? Well, the thing is, with this design, I'm not sure how it's supposed to be restocking the shulker back into the breeding chamber. So I'm just gonna build another one. I'm just gonna build I'm just gonna build a completely new shulker farm. It's like double or nothing, am I right? Is that one in the background there? Doesn't work. And down here, I've just been building my own little breeding setup, so it's like, this one's completely manual. But every time I want a new one, I turn it on, I breed it, I use, you may notice it in the, the top left of my screen there. But when I look at the shulker, it gives me a, it's HP, so I heal it up until I finally get one, and then I do that. But, you see some scaffolding here? This is where the new Shulker Farm is going to go. I am using White Matica because I probably should have used it for that one because it doesn't work. So whatever it is I did wrong there, either can't figure it out or the design just doesn't have infrastructure for uh, when it takes that 3% chance and it fails. And, uh, it doesn't duplicate. So yeah, I'll start building here.
right. Let's check out the farm. Look, we got the activator rail here. Hopefully, it should dispense the shulker into this sort of chamber here. It should go up onto uh, that block over there. And if it doesn't, the good news is that this is a refillable design. Like, once a shelter goes up to the top, it'll go into one of the holding cells first, and then we can bring it back down and put it, try and put it back in the chamber. And just keep doing that until we have a shelter that's duplicated. Pretty good stuff, huh? Anyway, it should, hopefully, go up there and then get ejected in to the spot that I can take down this railway. And put in some mine carts. That's right, that's what I needed to do. So first let's see if it went to the right spot. If not, good thing is that actually this 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 system is unbreakable. And hopefully, even if it does, like let's say teleport up there, it should go to the one of the valid like waiting spots. Not go in there, so I'm gonna have to show you exactly what I mean by valid waiting spots. Yeah, I filled up a good portion of these here with minecarts, so hopefully now it should be able to successfully restock shelters. Let's go. Yep, one gets launched up. There comes that other one, and it's back in there, and now it gets to try again. And then it left again. What's up with that? I, and I'm pretty sure I built everything right, too. Yeah, anyway, I'll sit here until, uh, until it starts working, I guess. So this one did die. I didn't even pick it up there. Which sucks, because that means i got to bring in another one. Because the first one has a chance where, oh, okay, it won't duplicate, I guess. I just got really unlucky. I guess I've been getting really unlucky a lot lately. You know what? I don't mind just leaving it actually. We'll just go get another shulker. Yippee! We're sending up the next shulker now, and uh, this time it's got a dope way. It's just gonna, it's just gonna work. I promise. I promise this time for sure. Definitely, absolutely, nothing's gonna go wrong this time. Absolutely for sure, 100%. There we go. So it started to work and then it broke again. What is wrong with this? Yes. Yes, this one's like almost full health. That means that the other one had to have duplicated. Finally, finally. And it looks like it's really working now this time as well. Now we've got spares built up here. They should, once they update, they can go to here, go to here. Yeah, we'll form one of the spare blocks. And then the rest should be they move up here, and then the, the trapdoor switch, and then they go up here. The loot goes into this chest. So look at that. It, the <laughs> shulker farm's finally working. Oh man. Finally. I got one that it started to work. And this one won't break because I've finally gotten the spares in here. Like sure, this one's got 0.8 health. This one's got well 22. So it's like yeah. We got shulker at full health if it hits itself like consistently it's the only reason is like you know, it's the only damage to itself. It, there should be a 3% chance in optimal spawning conditions that the shulker does not duplicate from full health until it doesn't have any health. And now that I've got spares, honestly, I think the chance is not going to break. Like, I don't, I don't think it's going to break. And even if it does, it'll have to run for so long that I'll probably never need more shulker boxes than that. And I'm going to leave some rails in place, but it's, like, it's not too hard to just try and put one back in. For how long this farm is expected to run. Look at this. We got this mega unbreakable shulker shell farm, which is around, I think, a thousand an hour at the, the fast rates. And then we got this one over here, which is supposed to be faster, but it doesn't seem to work for me. Although, to be fair, I, I could just be extremely unlucky. Like, there's our first shulker shells on this farm. Because over here, and over here, I just, whenever, like, the first time through, the shulker died. Like, the shulker just straight up died. He didn't duplicate the first time. So I must have been either really unlucky, maybe it's something to do with the server, which is a little bit more likely, I must say. But yeah, finally, I got a, a shulker shell farm that's working. That makes me the only person on the, the, fir the, the server, actually, to have one of these. 
and I know shulker shells are probably going to be high demand, so I'm going to have to probably next episode build myself a, a shop because I've got I've got some stuff that people want. I've got shulker shells. I did make the two farms. A little bit annoying still that I did that, but it's like you know, go big or go home. I've got iron. I've got gunpowder. I've got goat horns. That's going to be probably be a big seller, at least initially. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, honey, honey and slime. Those are big ones too. Like if we just go in here to the map room, I'll have to update it because uh. All right, and there is the the shulker shell farm. I'm not gonna label it just yet because I still kind of want to do some more stuff with it. And look at that. Look at my oxidized, you know, my little base. It's starting to come together. I must say, it's starting to look pretty nice. Finally, it's just so nice to look at. It's so nice to look at a completed project like that. Anyway, this was Unicraft, uh, episode 5, I believe. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye bye!